I wanted to take the time out to say thank you to all my subscribers, old as well as new. I want to thank you guys for all the support and the love that you have shown me. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. And thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And when I say I love you guys, I mean it. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And again, thank you for all your support. I'm going to be having a giveaway. I'm going to have a subscriber appreciation. I've been getting um, everything together. So you guys don't want to miss that because it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And you guys are going to love it. It's just a way of showing you guys, just showing my appreciation, just to say I appreciate you. Now, it's one thing to say I appreciate you, but it's another thing to show that I appreciate you guys. I really do. You know how when you crave something, you are just not satisfied until you get it. It's like if you guys remember last week when I made those wings, those uh, hot wings, buffalo wings, I hadn't had wings in like a long, long time. And for some reason, I was just craving and craving and craving. I had to have those buffalo wings. I just wasn't satisfied until I had those buffalo wings. Now, I probably won't eat them for like another year. But right now, I just got to make these okra, you guys. I got to make them crispy, crispy. I like them hard. I mean, just as crispy as I could get them. And I just know I will not be satisfied until I make these uh, fried okra, guys. So let's start cooking so we can eat. <laughs> so we can have some fried okra. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to start off by giving my okra a shower very thoroughly. I have two bags, 12 ounce of whole okra. You can use fresh if you want to. Then I cut off both ends of the okra and tried to get them uniform in size just so they could look pretty. Now, did you know another name for okra is called ladies finger? And then another thing is the sponge that comes out of the okra is used for in stews to thicken. And right now I have two cups of cornmeal because I want it very, very crispy. And I'm gonna add one fourth cup of flour. I have black pepper, salt, paprika, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, two tablespoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of ground oregano. I'm just gonna mix that in with the flour and the cornmeal. I'm gonna stir that very thoroughly. You just want to mix everything up, okay? And I have, I'm going to use about one cup of buttermilk. If you don't want to use buttermilk, you could just use regular milk. And I'm just going to pour that buttermilk in a bowl. And right now, I'm just going to go ahead and add the okra. Doesn't that look delicious? They're going swimming. <laughs> so you want to add all your okra to the cover that up with all the buttermilk. You just want to mix that very well so that each piece is coated. Oh my God, it's going to be so good, you guys. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. Then you're just going to add that to the cornmeal. Now, as you can see, I am using tongs. I never did put my hand in the buttermilk or the flour or the cornmeal. So you're just going to mix that thoroughly. And I say that for the people who, some people like to cook, but they don't like to get their hands dirty. You know what I mean? So I'm going to mix that very well. Cover that with the cornmeal. Oh, yes. Then you're just going to put them on a plate. Again, I'm using my tongs. I'm not using my hands to put the okra on the plate. And you're just going to let that rest for about five to six minutes. And this is going to give you a very nice coating, crunchy. 
and it's going to allow the cornmeal to stick to the okra. Once your grease is hot, you want to go ahead and drop the okra in with the tone. Oh my God, is that me? I'm going on a diet tomorrow after I eat all this okra. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dip that out. It's been about three to four minutes. Oh my God, it looks so good. I just want to take a bite right now. Oh my God, they look so good, you guys. And they smell so good. So I go ahead and sprinkle that with Parmesan cheese, salt, and I dipped it in some ranch. Ooh, look at you guys. This is absolutely delicious. I was thinking about this okra all day long. Oh my God. It is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know, the taste test is the best part. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Crispy, crunchy, super, super crunchy, guys. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 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 Mm-m